Zion, ayo, 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 ayo. Ayo, good news, good news. Please, don't go anywhere. There's a good news. And this good news, you need to hear it. Oh, I am so happy. Finally, all these calls I've been receiving, there's now a solution. Okay, I want you to make sure you watch this video to the end. Because this video is basically, yes, for everybody and as well, mostly people coming from outside the country. Now, during Evangelist Chukwe Bukano, he will be tall in Europe, he gathered a lot of experience. And he find out that people traveling, trooping in from abroad, spending 22 hours, 48 hours, 30 hours, 27 hours, 18, 12 hours on air, all because they are coming to see him and as well to glorify the grace of god in zion prayer movement outreach okay so today they have come up with a suggestion an easy way of how foreigners can be seeing him with not too much stress like what used to happen when they call their names on air or they meet them in person say see me it's difficult to see him so there's a solution so don't worry yourself make sure you watch this video to the end uh, please Drop your comment while you're watching it. Let's listen to it and I'll be right back for us to finalize it. Yes, yes. Yes. Let's let it be as if we have made a move. Yes. 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 Are you live right now? Andy, Andy, huh? In the now fight, and go back when we came here in this agro, there was no single house there. That time, anytime we are praying, we have our couplers killing snakes. Yeah. This area. But I've come to see what the presence of Zion brought here. Yes. 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 Hundred yes. million on the floor. Yes. So I also know that if I still go there, I'm a man who is going to do it. He is going to do it. I don't know why. Anyone that have children, you are speaking. Hello, where are you coming from? What for? <laughs> and so many people from Russia are calling me on phone. Why to Russia? Born in America. They speak Russia. And they also speak English. Italians, German. So you hardly see Igbo people. You can't really see their children speaking Igbo. Does it mean that when they speak only English, it makes them great? No. That's right. I don't understand. Right. If their children are speaking super, 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 does it add anything to their greatness? No, right. They want to differ from others. Me that are not speaking super, super. Presidents of some African countries called me on phone to hear my advice. Some presidents, not just Nigeria, African countries. I know how many presidents that have called me. Man of God, when are you coming? I said, I come now. So what makes you great is not trying to... What makes you great is God. And any time you begin to deny your root and whom you are, that is the beginning of your problem. Yes. yes. Barack Obama never denied being a Kenyan. Yes. He traveled to Kenya. I watched him when he traveled to Kenya. So, that is why I stick in people teaching their children whom they are. No matter who, where you base, tell your children whom they are. So that any time you are no more, you will still have a lineage here. Right. So many of our people in America, UK, all over the world may not have generation again. Their generation very soon will begin to answer Frank Lampard. Justin, Williams, Clinton, and the Yemen, I don't I was one that stopped our people from when you have children, you name them English. Why? English name, you can give them English name, but let the English one be silent. Be calling them those native ones. Because I've not seen somebody from England that gave his children to America. I'm not trying to remember the table. Yes, yes. So even if you give them English, 
black, <coughs> even if you give them the English name, let that English one beside it. Yeah. Thank God for the picture of that time. I was baptized with Chukwebuka. I must be baptized today. I was religious. I, there was a letter that said I would, I would write to our bishops. Why forcing people to be baptized with one white man name? That we believe in the church, St. Michael, St. this, St. Gabriel. We thank God for the ascent. I would like to be sent to Webuka. your children whom they are. Tell them the language of your ancestors. Most people don't know what the, the preaching of Zion have changed. Today, the preaching of Zion has made many of our people to begin to speak Igbo to their children. Yes. So, today, so our teaching has made so many of our people in abroad to, to reset their mentality of divorce, divorce, divorce. Yes. Right. Yes. Our teaching has made so many of our people today. I know how many women that told me, I have signed my will is that if I die, then they better be in America. But when I watch your teaching, I cancel it. Yes. 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 No, it's not proper. Now you write your will when you die, it's better in you. Better in a white man in the midst of black people in their own town. There are so many things about death that if I want to tell most of you, because people that have died have come to me not once, not twice. I understand things about death. The reason why I don't like teaching it most times is because there are some teaching is not yet the time. If you teach people that, they will misunderstand it. But you ask yourself, why did Jacob beg his children? Please, if I die, don't bury me here. Take me to our place. Why also Joseph did the same thing? Do you know Joseph died in Egypt? They embalmed him. Have you heard me what, I, what I'm teaching you? Yes. They put Joseph in a coffee. They did not bury him because he begged them, don't bury me here in the foreign land. Take me to the home of my ancestors. Those things matters. That's why I need what you say. <laughs> so, most of you don't know what Brahebu can represent. That's why when I see our people fighting me, Martin Hodge and how many him, it's only a foolish person we see Ebu Kobe as his enemy. Yes. Look at when I make a move of going home. Here, here will benefit us so much than anywhere. Because I ain't got so many names here. My grand. My going there is just to help our people. Yes. Yes. Because I know that with this crowd flying in here, when they begin to fly in there, it will even the old mama when they when they put granite, they will sell it. Yes. Yes. And we're going to beat big hospitals there, schools, so many things. Now, employment will come. Now, I am building psychiatric hospital, old people's home, less privilege in Anambra State. I have, all, I have put more than 200 and something million, my baby, the baby. Wow. Because this structure is very big. Why didn't I build it here? Who came by the KJM? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Most of our people are well. I'm a mobuna. I am with a conscience. Some of us are with a conscience. Uh, and if we continue to run away, we are the one that will cry. And that means we won't have a place called home. Elana Ali, everywhere are the desert. I have a good one. I know. I come to the other side. We must continue to pray. Zion Ministry got a land, a place called Awaren Zone, Ngopala. We have already ready to pay 
attack from nowhere. Some men of God that will not go far. Don't worry. If he comes here, he will take everywhere. They went and called some estate developers. They paid some land inside where we are staying. We, we move out from there. And not just that, immediately it was announced that Rebecca and Zion is coming here. People started trooping in from different places to buy. They, they knew it would develop. Mm -hmm. And at that process, they were not calling price. People were buying 1.3 million. The land, we agreed with them 400,000 or two. I, I can't even wait. So we said, no, let's leave there. So even the new place we are going now, it has not been easy. There are so many powers, both spiritual and physical, that are saying he will not come. And these people don't love our people. Mm -hmm. Anybody that loves our people genuinely, we say, let this kind of thing come to our place. Because it's not anywhere that is crowded, the economy will rise. Automatically. Because airport in a troop. And when the people are landing in our way, when we have program, they will enter the place of our people. <laughs> people don't know this. I have so much on for our people all over the world, but our people, our condition, they am concerned most time. That's why I'm more, and I have fight on my Naju, no, Mutu Raminana. On your ground, my eye got the Garanoboda in the past. Now got the Garo today. I could not fight one day. If I don't know, I would join me now. But then we do not know what we are going to do today. Why we are here to discuss it? What can we do? Why we are here to discuss it? What can we do? The media is here now. Some people can be commenting. All these people are people that come from abroad, different parts of the world. When you want to speak, you said where you are coming from. Now, our discussion here. Last time when I came back from Europe, I said that we are going to set up receivers team. Yes. That can help some people coming from different parts of the country. I know, I know some people coming from Gabon. They're based in America, uh, Ethiopia, they're based in UK, Italy. They don't know anywhere. They have not been in Nigeria before. They are coming for the first time because of their ministry. Yes. This receiver team can direct them properly. The hotel they can go. What are we doing that we are not doing well? In which area do you think we can improve? How can we do this to see most people? Considering the days of activities that I must be the one that preach. And everybody is coming in to see me. What can we do that will solve the problem? In all round. So if you are talking, say the country you came back from. You may not even mention your village, just say, I am coming from this place and go on. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dr. Mrs. Kelechi Ogu from Houston, Texas. How are you, Brahma? Houston, where is America? America, United States of America. Thank you, Debbie. So, um, one of the things that can be um, done to help things to be working uh, faster and better is this. Because a lot of us coming in here, everybody wants to see daddy one-on-one. -on -one. That is the major thing. So if daddy can sit an international body here in, in Nigeria, that international body will be responsible for a booking appointments. When they book that appointment, they put it in a system Making sure that, because for example, I myself, I might come down here and see that one-on-one. -on -one. Then I'll go back to United States again. Maybe I have another problem. I want to come down here again and see that one-on-one. -on -one. No, it doesn't work that way. It will prevent other people from seeing daddy. So if somebody has flew down to Nigeria and saw that one-on-one, -on -one, let them document it in the system. If they're coming back again, they will not see daddy. So that people will have opportunity to see daddy. Because everybody is just coming down here to see that. So the solution is this. Set up an international body, have them make, uh, so that they'll be responsible for booking face-to-face. -face. 
if daddy is seeing people from the United States on a Friday, let it be maybe five or ten people, and let those people know that they are coming down, they will see daddy. Yes. Let them know ahead of time. Not when you book your flight, you come down here, uh, at the end of the day, you didn't see daddy. Then you go back, maybe uh, being annoyed with daddy or the workers or something like that. Let them know as they are coming down, they are coming to see daddy one on one. So that's what I have for now. Thank okay. you. Oh, 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 lift your hand and back. Go and go and stand now and say, oh, yeah. We move. You have to loud your voice. You remember you are going to... We move. Yeah, I'm Jonathan. I'm Zoom. Nobody hears you. Speak up. Oh, my name is Jonathan. I'm not Yeah, come on, I see you. My name is Jonathan. I'm not I'm from the Republic of Ireland. I support the last speaker. Um, the reason of supporting her is this because when you travel to a foreign country, uh, like as we do, uh, you go to your embassy, to the embassy, and then you, you register your name that you, you are in this country. Uh, so that if anything happens, uh, can be tested. So uh, what I'm supporting her again is this because uh, uh, if anybody comes here from abroad, it's good that uh, the, the international body set up here. Because uh, the first speaker said that maybe from admin, like we said, admin all is not uh, well organized. So uh, if anybody travel down here, uh, if that international body is set up, the person will go straight to that, to that international body and then submit, he show his passport and his ticket. Then there will be a card. I suggest that there should be a card that they will give to that person straight away. Have this card, so 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 they, so they you have a, you have appointment to see our special director. Uh, and then when the person have arrived, right? Yes. Yes. When the person have arrived, you will just go straight to that. And person. when there is seven hundred, would that come each day? Uh, when, because there is no day over yes. seven hundred, would not come. Yes. And then when you are saying this, you have to tell us the, the day we are doing construction. Yeah. Because you have to consider all the days of our activities and tell us when. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, will be, that will be from the, from the organizers there who will let people know when they will see you this day or maybe you are the last person who will this time or maybe you should wait or see. If the person can wait, you wait. If that person cannot wait, then you can fight back. I'm going to speak. I'm going to my hand. My name is Paris Wallace. I'm a French attorney. Check your phone. I'm a French attorney. What I want to suggest is that, like, what we all know in America, anything you want to do, you have to book. You have to book appointments. Whether you're going to hospital, whether you're going to school, anything you have to book. So, what I'm suggesting is that, let us have a serious serious booking office here that will take care of both local and international people. Based on that, our daddy knows his own time. On that time, he will put it that is available from social day. Just like the way we are doing if you want to book a country to go to hospital. They will tell you the time that doctors can see you. They will tell you the date doctors can see you. So you cannot just come the way you want. You know, you have to follow that okay. principle. Mm -hmm. okay. The process. The process. Mm -hmm. You can't change it. No? Then, those process is based on the local people, the time that you have time. Because that doesn't have time on 28. If you go to the internet to book or you call on phone to book, definitely, that day you want to come, there's no... Okay, your suggestion is for we to set up like the internet booking. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Not just internet booking, you can do it both on call too. But let those, let, let those, let those place here. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. This, instead of this, now. Let him finish. Talking. Let finish, finish before I'm happy. Secondly, you know, some of us, we are not good with the, 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 the outside, you know? So, what we do, because we set uh, a program that's for internet now, some of us, we will not have the access for the internet. So most of what that doesn't have that access for internet should go to our admin 
to talk to them. Maybe Abdul will be telling us the available date. Someone like me, I have only I'm, my vacation finished today. You know, if I have if I have knowledge when I can see that, you know, I will be able to okay plan my vacation. I think a lot of us that is working in the US, we all have time, limit time to travel out of the country. You know, so when we call you, when we check the available time, then we can walk towards that. Then secondly, we have to consider people that is urgent like what we call emergency, you know? When you consider those people, if somebody has serious emergencies that you want to see that, then we have to make the, the, the people here have to make the people. Well, may I go, go ahead, because yeah. ask me. Thank you very much. Let's ask me. Praise the Lord. I am Dr. Bernadine Iwanyadike. I reside in Texas. Yeah, I'm a US United States of America. So um, I like what the first speaker said, but uh, all I'm adding to it is that um, Daddy already suggested that uh, there will be an in a receiver's team. The receiver's team, I believe, should be able to handle bookings like what they're saying. When you come in from outside the country, you go and register with them if you want to see daddy. But as for saying everybody that comes here wants to see daddy, that is true. But some people want to get to Zion like I wanted to get to Zion and touch my feet here. And uh, if possible, if I see daddy, that's fine with me. That's a bonus. So that is that. Um, like you said, um, there will be emergent cases. And we should also understand that daddy has people locally here that may need to see him in addition to other things he's doing. Because they are really accusing people that I don't even see the local people. Hmm? They are accusing it's a very big fight. Yes. But I okay, have you heard it before? Yes. That is yes. even they are taking it to internet that I don't see anybody in Nigeria yes. again. Yes. I only see abroad people. Yes. Which is not true. Especially in the US they are using US. Yeah. They are saying it every day, and the, me, I don't really think I'm doing that, but sometimes I consider the, the, distance. the distance, flight, money, hotel, this will base here, but you base over there. This is the reason why we, but still, it's not enough. So what we're doing today is what we make everything to work. We the people want me to be seen in international people. Wait, now we don't want to put a man there. Friday, Sunday. Friday. Which day do you suggest me to be seeing international people? Friday. Which day do you support me to see the local people? Monday. Nigeria people. Monday. Finish what they say. So, in addition to that, what I want to also say is about seating arrangement. I, this is my first time of coming to Zion. I was lucky to have somebody give me a seat, but some people weren't so lucky. So I think that we should have a designated area from people that came in, because if you're going to a new church for the first time, you see people, they'll receive you and sit you even in front. But here, some of them embarrass you, you know? Like me, somebody sat me there, another person said, what uh, department? And what is asking me? I know what department I am. Anyway. So that is that one. <coughs> Another thing I'll suggest is, Daddy, I don't want to seem or sound mean. The people at the hotel, a lot of the workers there will come and knock on your door. They are asking you if you happen to get your number. They are texting you to do one thing or the other for them. Are you serious? Yes, are you I have it. I'm not going to mention the president. I have to have a text message. So are you still having a hotel? Yes. That is embarrassing, wow. you know. And uh, we like to talk. Oh! People are also hanging around there. Praise God! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, you say that those that work in the hotel. Yes. Some of them. They knock to collect number. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Manager. You hear it that some people that are working in the hotel also disturb the people that are foreigners that come. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, when you get to 
you are torn, you torn. All those people that are working there, someone one of them this night. And from their manager to the last person. Yes, sir. God bless you. So, if you edit it, there are other things I wanted to see. Let me now say it here. I came. Wait, see, when everyone is talking, nobody is talking. I came. No, talk. Let me hear you. Let me hear you to the media. Okay, so in addition to that, I have some medications with me at the hotel that I want to use to help cyanides that are diabetics, hypertensives, arthritis, and. Um, those with infection, if they talk to me, I have all my things there and I can help. That is what I have to say. Thank you. God bless you. Okay, okay the other lady that wanted to say, Joe, I want to go. Leave that down there, your voice. My name is Epele Amakar. Epele? Say Epele. 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 From the UK. Um, my suggestion is that there should be a booking system, maybe online or um, maybe an app. Or I feel like it should be through our admins, and um, maybe once a month they should get together and discuss um, why this person should have um, an appointment. And maybe the more urgent ones like death or maybe illnesses, they should put it forward. And I feel like each admin should have a slot and um, maybe three. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
and people can go there and they can help pray for the people also. Okay, the next person there. Stand up. Yeah, I, we want to finish from here. Don't worry. Please keep it low, man. Voice is This is not our no, 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 I, I know what I'm, I'm, I know I'm saying that I'm trying to right to something, you know. So, um, and when I watch him, I don't feel happy. I don't have peace. That's why, you know, I'm coming. But that's to say, I am pleading, apart from, you know, setting up appointments on the internet uh, for people to come in, then again, if you've seen daddy before, you will not get that an appointment, you know, to see him again. So is there any way an appointment could be set for children who have a, um, mental problems? That way, because it's, it's very, very disheartening. When your son is in school, he cannot finish because of this type of thing. It doesn't give anybody peace. You don't have peace. So I am pleading if there is a special attention that will be given to this. And by God's grace, I've been using the mind in this area recently. I've been doing that. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Anyone that wants to talk, please lower your voice. Okay, stand please. Good evening, everyone. Go ahead. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Zion, we move. My name is Beatrice, and I have white. My own, everyone has said something which I took on board. I just want to add to it. I think with the appointment, appointment online, that would be very, very good. Because even if we would go to MRC to go and renew our visa, you make the application, they give you the appointment day when you submit. So if you have that appointment day, the day you're going to see daddy, then you can arrange yourself. Get your ticket. Make sure you have the appointment first before arranging for your ticket. No buying ticket first before booking. So the moment you book your own, you got that appointment, go. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My voice is quite loud. With this microphone, it would be more. So, if we book that appointment, everybody have their own appointment. You can go and book your ticket. You know you already have your day and time you're going to see that in. So, in that case, maybe things will be more better, more arranged to come down here. Also, people talk about illness and people that got like uh, living challenges, which is good. I'm one of them as well. But sometimes, not only that, people can be facing difficulties. They've seen that before. It could be anything to do with court case. They just want to see that they are desperate. And we cannot still manage those ones because it's an emergency thing to them. So I think if we can do all those online booking, but we still see have that international office here, which is going to be very, very helpful. When anybody comes, just go there and present yourself. This is my booking. It's the confirmation. If you can pull me down, this is the date. They will undo that. And another thing I will say, because we are in Nigeria, we live in Europe, and we come, even the American, we come here, whether we have appointment, we don't have appointment, that our mentality come to rain on us. We're all Russian. So people are going to do that as well. So the best thing, maybe if we have that appointment, we can have what we have in the hospital. 
like that signboard, like computer that shows your time. You take a ticket, it take, takes you when to see that day. When you get all those things, I don't think everybody can be pushing on the gates to come and see that day. It's a hard job you're doing. We all appreciate you because it's a difficult job. I saw you yesterday preaching. I look at you, I was sitting in the front and I was complaining, I'm sweating. But the moment I saw you, I smiled. Because you're doing a difficult job, which we are kind of jumping. It's a hard job and we appreciate it. I think that will help. That's the only thing I can just put into what everyone has said. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. That's good evening. My name is Ikomo Konko. I'm from Anambra State, but I live in Houston, Texas, the USA. So, um, in addition to what everybody has said, I'm thinking that we should all realize that Zion is a movement. It's not just a church with very limited people. This is a movement of people from all over the world. And if that, if we, it's good that everybody's saying we should all have um, make appointments online. But if we do that, it may take 10 years for him to see everybody yes. because everybody wants to be seen. Yes. So I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is like those that he sees on, the, on um, open heaven and the people that he sees um, during service. Good. And whoever he tells, see me, see me. Those are the people that should be giving priorities for him to see. And of course, those who are sick or who, who um, emergency cases. But if we make a list or try to put in our name, it's going to take forever. Zion is growing and continues to grow. This is a movement. It's not any kind of church where you will um, make an appointment and expect to be seen in two years. If I put my name on any list in Zion, I don't think I will see him in the next five years. I'm just being practical. Thank you. Uh, you know, I have a appointment. You are going to see the Oscar. Australia, South Africa, Canada, Congo, America. There is no part of the world we don't have branch now. And these people are coming here every day. And somebody must say things that can be. You know, until let me hear your voice. I'm coming home with that. You are a wonderful God in a lifetime. I am a fire. Well, Moa Bochi. Moa Bochi from Pennsylvania. And um, what I want to suggest, because of the enormity of the crowd all over the world, uh, I believe na through your own administration in house, maybe again when they are gonna put that again train. Each time in your your prophecy, because at that time you are not really in control. You lose, you lose. You go after some, yeah, because you see everybody. So those people immediately they will do uh, half a card, all right, like a. Uh, in Nigeria, say hospital card, or however you can arrange it. Say, if you touch me and you say, I want to see you on personal level, person to person, immediately the will look at or blue, red, or pink, or whatever. I am. That card will now give me a number. So, on your zone, before your zone, in measure. You did not mention, I will see you person to person. You just bless the person and you move some. So that they can narrow it down. Those people whom you want to see in your office. If they can arrange this, that's the first step. If they can arrange this sequence, then they will not take it on those people who are booking online because after one hour, the telephone number on your I didn't have that but on your they feel well, then later on they retrieve it from that person. Obviously a bunch of cards and well for that specific program for that day. 
That very names, the Google only eager to follow, and that's what I can just suggest that we make it a little easier for the management because it's enormous. Okay, you know. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Ambo Timothy. Speak English. Okay. <laughs> My name is Timothy Chima. Thank you, Daddy, for the enormous work God is using me to do. I'm from US. Praise God. My suggestion is this. Zion led the power says the movement. This movement seems like small compared to what I felt in my few days here is going to happen in the next two years about this ministry. It's going to blow up. The international delegates somebody mentioned is a very important office to be set up here. Now, we will not take away the spirituality by trying to be too organized and trying to book from the US or book from Australia. You're not coming to see a medical doctor. But like Mama said, those that by the spirit said, I want to see, there has to be a system. It could be an app. We all have smartphones. One that is it, I want to see this person. The person that is part of that logistics will just go after and key in that information with the person's phone number. If the person is an international delegate, and the person already has how many weeks he or she has slotted to stay here, that will enable the appointment scaling. And it will be automatic because it's, uh, it will be an app or you know just a technical system. I told Sebastian a little bit that I, I had this idea to share with him if I'm allowed, but thank God that he mentioned it. Now, the other aspect of it is that this is so big, the Zion is a force, right from the airport. That's where the work starts. Now, I'm talking out of experience right now. The people that are coming, like from US, from UK, they may not know where this part of Lagos is, to be honest with you, it wasn't comfortable coming. But there are partner hotels that Zion can screen. So your international delegates, you already know where they are because they signed up and they landed right from the airport. That also gives Zion the force to make the demands when it comes to the government. Now again, I'm saying I'm talking from experience. So the Office of International Delegates here will be the ones to make sure the seating arrangement that somebody mentioned here in Zion is allocated. You are signed up as an international delegate with your passport when you come in, you have a badge. If you are from the US, maybe green. If you are from London, maybe red. Nobody from Nigeria can go and print that badge to wear. And once they see you with that badge, they already know where you are going to see. But that doesn't mean you will come late to the program anyway. When the seat is full, you will sit in the crowd. So that is a very important way to set up. We don't have to book from international. Now, that doesn't discount what she said about emergencies. If somebody is sick and there's a medical report, there's a cancer, there's a dead report, the person through the same international delegation make that demand and the medical report will be put and the person will be scaled on the emergency list to see daddy. And he will tell when he will make space within that week to see them. Now again, not discounting those who are local that have the same problem. They also will be factored into this same system. Like that you mentioned earlier, should I see them on Monday or should I see them on Friday? Local, that you can say, I will see them on Mondays. International, if they say, I want to see you one-on-one, -on -one, yours will be Friday. But that depends on when you will be traveling, you know, when your ticket is expiring, or if you can extend. But if you cannot extend, the communication will be between the local office here because you get a text message, your appointment is 2 p.m. on Friday. And you're supposed to fly out on Thursday evening, but you can extend. You, you extend your flight and stay till 2 p.m. on Friday to match your appointment. However, if you can't stay, then you communicate with the local office right away. And they'll be able to find a scheduling of somebody who could stay for that. <coughs> Praise the Lord. There's so much um, uh, layers to I was, I said I would, um, we can hear you, keep talking. So, so much layers to it. 
to get it organized better. But we cannot afford to take away the spirituality that Mama mentioned. You know, you stay in the U.S., you book, it, it, it just appears, to be honest with you. Somebody does relax and say, oh, I'll see him on Tuesday, I'll fly down, I'll see him and I go. No, the spirituality first. And then when the spirit is moving, priority. The emergency cases, top priority, depending on how much time he has. Praise the Lord. It's not something we can all say have to do. However, one other thing again is we cannot discredit the already existing structure of the admins. The ministry has set up that structure. It simply means the spirit is behind it. It will work. They may need some training, some adjustment. Those trainings will help those existing structures work until they are improved upon. But if we stay here and discredit what is already set up, we're going to discourage a whole bunch of people from serving. It's not everybody that will be willing to do this service, to be honest with you. So, keeping the existing system, encouraging them to improve, no matter how they are, and then adding this other one to ease the pressure. Again, it starts from the International Delegates Office. The rest of it, that I see how one week, I could table my own little ideas and put it down to somebody in the office and see how it can help in any little way. Praise the Lord. I'm Kelechi Chima from uh, Chicago, USA. My first suggestion, first of all, let me thank Daddy because I went to the church today and I saw them building the section for the uh, international delegates, which we really appreciate. Thank you so much, sir. And they said they are unveiling it on Sunday which is the best thing that could happen to us because of the struggle that we face in getting a seat every time we get there. Then number two, Daddy, this is... Uh, <laughs> number two is, uh, this is a spiritual environment coming in for the first time after so many years to Nigeria and coming into the environment like this and getting into the hotel, and you, you see them watching Sea World, and you're asking yourself, is this a spiritual environment? I think the, uh, the managers, whoever that is in charge, all the TVs, I mean, if we start playing Zion programs since generation, there's no way that you could come to the hotel room, the reception, and they are watching other things other than Zion programs. We're here to get encouraged. Many of us prepared ourselves before coming. Many did not do so. But I'm coming here and seeing testimonies, watching it, you turn on your TV, you go to the reception room, you turn it, it's turned on, and you see the programs, you just pick it up right away. You are gonna get encouraged. And coming in and you see them watching Z-Wall. And we that live in the US don't watch those things. <laughs> so, I think the managers should, should be alert to this and make sure that they take care of that part because it helps us spiritually. And the last thing I'm gonna put in here, Daddy, is about the, uh, the uh, issues that everyone has already talked about, about when you're being located or when your name is being mentioned on Open Heaven. They just took our names and nobody followed up. We were here lined up on Friday, nobody to talk to, nobody to ask how. Let there be an organization that says, hey, you were located in the service, you were called on open heaven, show us the evidence. We bring out the evidence from the, from wherever the evidence has been, you know, prophesied upon, and they give you a number, and, we, and let there be a follow-up on the number. Say, hey, you, you line up, and not they give you the number, and those that you, the number does not exist. You know, nobody calls you on the phone, nobody follows you up. He, he, we ask for that Christian, he said, goes to this person. We ask this person, say goes to this person. So, like everyone talked about, let there be an organization of the people that have already been prophesied upon that daddy said, see in me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Zion, we move. Zion, we move. 
My name is Uche, Uche, and I came from the US. I would like to add some few suggestions to what is going on. I've been here for a little while and I've really observed a lot. Both inside the church, the hotel, and all that stuff. And to add it, let me start from the foreign delegates. I would suggest that they have a table in front of the foreign delegates where people could be able to write their names. But there are some people that come here, they don't even know who their names are. So that in that way, the names can be forwarded to the countries where they came from for the admins to follow up. Or if we can have the admins, maybe one US admins number put on the screen so that new people who come in, because some people are just, they watch Zion Ministry and they'll buy a ticket to come but they don't know much about. Who will they meet? Who are the admins? So that's one suggestion that you made. Another one is uh, generally, I think the people are really too aggressive. We understand that Nigerians, maybe they, especially in Lagos, they are aggressive, but the way they talk to people is not really something that is nice. And I suggest that training should be done on every unit especially the leaders. We know about how Moses' father-in-law advised him on uh, how to run the business. Daddy will not know everything. But if we have the leaders being trained to retrain their work, the, the members, that will really help. And also, there should be a don't and do, written and typed and given to every unit so that they'll be able to know these are the things we can do, these are the things we cannot do. That will help them to recite them, because sometimes when you teach people things, they might not have it, everything. But when it's put in writing and given to them as a copy, each person will be able to go through it once and once. Because the aggressiveness is too much. The insult they give to people is too much. I think you should be looked into. And also the hotel. I think they should look into the hotel, really. Starting from the menu, there's no protein. People are, just have rice, uh, yam. They should have protein. Have moi moi, have ukwa. You know, people that come, well, we are used to all these things. But people come with have ukwa. Those are things that really are proteinous. You can't come back from America and come here or from any other country. And all you keep on eating is carbohydrate, carbohydrate, carbohydrate. Some of us don't want to eat carbohydrates anymore. So I think that the hotel needs a lot of attention. Not only on the menu, the service in the hotel, the workers and everything. And I think hotel is a very good business. And if Daddy could look into it and have a bigger hotel here, because a lot of people about coming, what they think is, where will I stay? And they don't know the area. And hotel is something that if, if you have 100 rooms, 200 rooms, it will be full, yes. you know, and there's another way to improve the, uh, the, uh, the income of the commission. So I think that should really be looked into. The hotel, the way they work, the way they sat, I mean, it's something that somebody has to go in and go in detail and find out what is happening. So these are my little suggestions. Please, let them really look into the menu because it's making a lot of people, they don't know where to eat. And after eating outside, another thing will come up. They can have salad, so people can get salad and all that stuff. But especially, proteinous foods should be added into their menu. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. So I'm going to debate a bit from what we're talking about right now. Um, the, I'm going to suggest, sorry, my name is Laura Johnson. I stay in Westchester, New York. Okay. Daddy, I would like you to bring back the Zoom meetings. So I'm going to like suggest you have maybe a weekly meeting with the branches in different countries. Like you had one with us in the U.S., I think that was the only one we had, and that was beautiful. So when we have these weekly meetings, maybe like the first week in the month, 
you have with all the UK members, then the second week you have with the US members, third week with maybe Asian members thereabout. Like maybe in a month you're gonna like have Zoom meetings with like four countries. And during these meetings, you know, you kind of like prophetize to some people. When you talk to like about 10 people, then you give them prayers for follow up. So that would kind of reduce the traffic of those coming into the country, you know, because if you have, you know, gotten in touch with me, like through a prophecy, and you give me prayers, and I see results, there won't be any need for me to come here. And at the same time, we have a lot of Nigerians outside the country who can't afford tickets, and some don't even have papers to come. They are willing to come, but they don't have papers to come. So when you have these weekly meetings, and you get in touch with some of them, and they kind of automatically become members, you know, I've been making these suggestions to Brother Chuike, because the last time we had that Zoom meeting with the U.S., I told him a lot of things, and I, I quite appreciate, you know, such meetings. Then again, we, anybody who is coming down here must be a registered member. You can't say you are in a country where you have um, Zion, and you are not a member, and you just buy a ticket and come here and want to see our Father in the Lord. It's not done that way. Get yourself acquainted with your branch before coming in here. And at the same time again, I want you to give priorities to those who are Seraphic uh, supporters. There are some of us who kind of support Seraphic Foundation on a monthly basis. So when we come here, I mean, you should also look at, you know, give us that access for consultation. <laughs> Yeah, because I, we are like, my, all my family members, four of us are Seraki Foundation supporters, you know. And um, at the same time, I would say everything is okay. Again, the life program is not life in the hotel, I don't know. You've been having problems. Like, open heaven should be life. Any program on the, I mean, in Zion should be life. Because like I work remotely and I have two laptops. I have my office laptop, I have my private laptop, and I run the program, you know, continuously. Even when I'm if I'm having a meeting, I just put it to mute. When I'm done, I have to rewind and I don't miss any program. I follow Zion back to back. So and at the same time <laughs> at the same time <laughs> you, you, you know, you see. What I told him, I'll just talk to your brother, I tell him messages, I tell him things that we can improve on. And I'm glad you're having this meeting. Because one thing, you know, like during Christmas, we had a lot of programs. You know, there were a lot of church programs. You have the experience with us on the rock and other churches. Experience with us on the rock ran for 24 hours. It only froze, but it never broke. But when we have a day ship program, and we have the 100 days program, you have part one, part two, part three, part four. It gets irritated. I send links to over 30 people, both here and in the US. And if I'm trying to woo somebody to be a member of Zion, and I'm sending something to the person, and the person is getting irritated, and I'm, I'm still pushing, and the thing is breaking. Oh my God, and I'm like, oh. You know, I complained to my sister. She said, no, what? just. Go ahead. I said, no, it's not me. It's those I'm sending it to. I'm trying to win. So you get irritated. So I made a suggestion that since you pay these guys, the other churches will do it right. You can push. Get the best hand. Give them the best pay. Let's get quality for what we are paying for. You know? So a lot of things, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are the voice of the demons. You could have. Young man, praise the Lord. My voice is out. Today, today, today. You can praise God. Everything is said. Everything is said. Everything is said. Sit down, Anna. We are still talking. Sit down. Where do you come from? Me? 
Westchester, New York. New York? Yeah. Who are your admits? Anthony. I know Anthony. I'm in branch nine. I don't know. Yeah, Anthony, Felicia, and other people. You know, somebody was talking about the admits not being right. I said, it's not one of them. If I came, I took Anthony. Felicia is wonderful. What is happening? I know it's happening to everybody. It's just like that here. So I was just telling them, no, it's not one of them. Anthony is good. Praise God. Hallelujah. When you say this person is good, there'll be another one sat down. <laughs> and anybody, maybe you are not getting that person. Other people are also getting, you know. We. Huh? When you are talking, why didn't you mention this? Because they are watching. That was really emergency. That means, that means you that means are your leaders. There is a training going on now. And we are training them spiritual. Because it's not just administrative leaders. We want them also to be let something supernatural be parted in them. And um, Americans have 15 admins. We have two, two. American admins, we have like 50 or even 100 admins in the future. Each state will have two admins. Each state will have two admins. Now we have 15. Now, the two in New York does not mean that you are only admins. That 15 is still American admins. Yeah, but only what we say that there will be two, two coming out from East State in America. Now, everything you are saying, the person that mentioned that the hotel is supposed to have Zion program throughout, that is right. Anything there outside Zion program is not proper. Is abnormal. That is why we are setting so many things up. I don't think I have sat down with them for once. Sometimes I have gone there is to go there anytime the spirits flog me, flog me. Oh yeah, go. I will just go and pray for those there. So everything people are saying is on the line. I'm still listening to everyone for all this time now. I was still listening to for the more 15 minutes. We are taking some decisions today to make things fine. Um, the, all of you that are coming here, Seraphic Foundation, yes, we're supposed to be those in Seraphic Foundation. You forgot that your picture is in my altar now. Yeah. And I sleep in that altar almost every day. And there is no day I don't lay hand on those passports. There is nobody that is registered on Seraphic. Is there no Seraphic Foundation that are building the structure in uh, Anambra? That we even, after the Anambra, or we move to Imo State, and with those psychiatric free hospitals will be in all the eastern states. Before we start going to the Roba Hausa. So, yes, those in Seraphic Foundation are supposed to be, because every month they have an agreement of what they do. We're going to look into it. At any time somebody comes and you are a member, a registered member of Salafi Foundation, at least you show us your ID card. But one thing you must be happy with is that uh, you have your picture. Didn't you submit your passport? Yes. Yes. Huh? We did. Then we don't have any ID. Uh, they, they are coming, but you have your Syria code. Right. Uh -huh. And your passport is in my in the chapel. Yes. If you come there and see the whole basket is full of passports. I pray for all of them because they are, most of the charities we are doing, they are trying so much. Anything about Seraphic supporters goes for charity time. So God bless all of you. Uh, do you want to tell us your problem or you want to tell what will make the institution to move in fine? Uh, no, no, I'm, I, 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 I,
Answer my question. Do you want to say, nobody is saying their problem here. Everybody here happened, including me. My problem is more than your own. <laughs> Should I carry my own problem and give you a carry your own? Huh. St. Paul says, three times I prayed daily for God to remove the thorn in my flesh. The Lord says, no, 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 no. My grace is uh, there. If, if one water comes to you, you will run away from this. So, tomorrow, our next things will begin to have a new chip. Amen. There is a place they are preparing now. You know, Zion Ministry. Nobody have a special seat. Even if you're a governor, a senator, a local government chairman, wherever, if you come, you sit. When I say pour water, everybody's pouring water on. That is what makes us unique. So this thing we are putting here is for some people. Like, they are see very far, new, new people. So at least, they, cannot, they don't know the pattern. They cannot even drag. They will sit there. I'm not, I will be criticized for that. He had me put in the window, even now. Oh, and the security take care of their Zion security, remember the security sponsor on the Zion ministry. Just now, they are the ones staying on oh, one here. They told me, I told them, this thing will cause trouble. They said, we want to put that so that anybody that comes from abroad, we will welcome them to do it. This thing will cause trouble. We have never done a thing like this in Zion before. Bringing it up now. In the Nigeria, you come here say, hey! Daddy has started discrimination. It will cause the, I know how Zion is. This thing I'm a man in the you but now it cause one problem as I it will cause when they come when they came to me last week, Ngozi the Ngozi the security sponsors. They said they want to do it because most of them supposed to be security are from there. So I don't know. I'm which I'm just watching on Sunday. Now they are much better than this If the trouble sets, probably my problem. Oh, I give the woman to talk. Let me conclude. Good evening, brethren. My name is from BC. So some time ago, in, in 2022, I traveled to Libya. And then I, I want to be, I want to express my feelings for having been in the midst of those who have traveled uh, far and wide, and then uh, those who are exposed. So at least I am enjoying their suggestions and every other thing, hoping that God will still give me a light to find ahead in life. So I took um, some goods to my friend, and then I took the through desert when I got there. My friend uh, never came to buy me from the ghetto. They seized all those things. So um, the goods I took down to that place is 2.5 million. It's not only my money. My local friend here's money is inclusive. So and uh, then um, I, of course that's what saved my life. Then after which they now um, you know buy me and because it's Arab country, Muslim country. Then I now um, ask of a Christian fellowship. They now took me to church. Then church took care of me up to five months. After sorry, I'm sorry, sir. So and then for now they now control us some money and then they turn me back to since I came back, I've not been able. I've not been able to come to you. Oh, you're the most important. Oh, praise the Lord. Hey, 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 we cannot give him back to be saying something that happened. Uh, all their proper. It was not at the eyes of the government is here. Uh, it's something we can discuss with us privately. Praise God.
Now, all of you have seen how effort I am making. Yes. For to pack because I have traveled. It's not easy. I even miss my packing and eating. From France to okay, from Italy to France. No, they have brought it. And so, um, the stress is not easy. Regardless of now, I will begin to travel everywhere. You can, are you ready for me? Yes, yes, yes. Amen, are you ready for me? Yeah. And you know, you know, you know, America, Daddy, we must. Daddy, how many of you watch what happened in Abuja? Now, anywhere we're going now, you should, you should expect something like that. If we're going to America, everywhere will be shut down. Because it's not just America, Canada will come. I went to Israel, people were flying from different angles. Even the man that walk in Israel is from UK. The one that drop his walk is sick that day. He's from UK. So, that thing could be is going to one country, something that needs to be planned. It's not for that at me. I was wondering that Abuja means calm down, madam. I said that the way we do it. Oh, no, I'm not a crowd. Also, pray. So, so, we are going to plan everything tomorrow. I know those that we see. By next week, we finalize. We can say, okay, the only thing I can see those from outside countries on fire. But, the only thing I suggest, like, you know, in our ministry, we have Zion mother. They are over 7,000 people. <laughs> Zion fathers. Before I normally give them conscription days. Zion youth. The temple Jesus. Apostle. These are groups in Zion. But we have stopped seeing them for a long time. They complain and complain and complain. If we say that people should be booking appointments, this is my suggestion. I'm not concluding, right? Yeah. I'm not speaking now as a uh, Ebukobi. Yeah. I'm speaking as a uh, member. I'm speaking as a member. Yeah. 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 One of the sisters make a fantastic point, as all of you are making a point. If we are booking this appointment the way you say, we're American Embassy, hospital, how many people go to each of them every day? You don't know how many people are drooping here every day. Now, the issue is that some people with six years that are not talking to their tongue. So, I think my own suggestion should be those people that maybe their case is mentioned on Open Heaven or Zion Grand here, a card can be given to that person. Okay, this is the date they will come and see you. Without card, if they're coming here, security will be saluting them, not even stopping them. Because they have this card. Or if we plan it, or some emergency, they can give them that card. But in a situation that, okay, let me see the American people, UK, who and who will you see? And because, even if we are doing conception from Monday to Sunday, we can't meet up one quarter. So this is my own suggestion. God bless you. When we finish, we conclude. Thank you, Daddy, for the opportunity to bring all of us together here. Uh, we're really privileged because we know that other people who have been coming in here and they get the chance to really have this gathering. So thank you. I want to comment on a personal note. I was here last year and that's... Oh, sorry. Sorry, my name is Sorry Sister Zita. Uh, Obiageri War. I prefer Obiageri to Zita following Daddy's uh, prescription. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I, I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. And um, so I came here last year. The way things were organized were so scary to me, alarming. I was really, really frustrated, angry. But because we saw Daddy, I'm like, okay, thank God I saw him and he touched me. So, uh, but what I want to say is that there's a lot of improvement. 
when I got to the door, I was surprised when they said, open your bag. I'm like, oh, wow. This sounds like the USA. So I opened my part. So things are really improving. I have to really commend you on that. It is work in progress. This is work in progress. And the other thing I want to suggest, Daddy, is the United States, there's a reason why they're called the, the first country in the world. There's a reason for that. It's no bragging. There are a lot of people who are, especially those of us from Nigeria, we have gotten the chance to be exposed in so many areas. In fact, a lot of Nigerians are running the healthcare system in Nigeria, in the United States. Igbos, for example, they are doing all the brain surgeries and all that. I'm saying this to say that we have a lot of experts, like the hotel we're talking about, there are hotel managers here, there are traveling agents, uh, there are real estate, all these people are very progressive in, in uh, America. If we can collaborate with our um, admins, because I have tried, I don't even want to go there, but I have tried to see how we can actually get these whole people who are willing to volunteer to help start organizing. I'm telling you, like you said, Zion is a movement. We don't want it to get out of hand, and we don't want the good work you're doing to really go down the drain, because a lot of our Americans are also impatient. You know, when they look at stuff, it's not moving, they drop it. But this is really very progressive, very spiritual. Everybody wants to be part of it, but there's a process. So if we can really plan it in such a way that our admins will really collaborate with us, um, I think we will really improve and do better. And I think some of them are beginning to listen right now. And there's a lot to be done, but I would say it's a snail pace right now, but I hope that it will improve. So please, if you can talk to the admins, to talk to these special, like when people were introducing themselves here, you can see that we have some of this powerhouse um, here, people who are very willing to share their skills and talents, but give them the chance to do it. Nobody is here to really take from anybody. I think we are here to actually take from you. And, uh, and through whatever God is giving you to share with us. But the rest of us are here to really improve Zion. So please, if you can talk to them and let them collaborate with people who are willing to serve, I think some of these problems will be a thing of the past. Thank you. So she's the last person. You're the last person. You last. The last speaker. Zion. Zion. My name is Messi. I'm from Imo State, but I reside in the United States. I have listened to our people's suggestions. Let me start from. It's, there was something a sister said, a sister over there said about the hotel. We should understand that this is a movement like one other sister said. And the, the last person that spoke said she came this time and she has seen a progression. There's an improvement. As a matter of fact, I was here 2022. This hotel, the, the hotel over there was not built then. So I spent three good months in a lodge, I don't know, owned by Yoruba man over there. Then last year in October, I came, I spent three weeks at Serapic Hotel. There was no other program on TV in their rooms. It was just Serapic TV or two. So then when I came this time around, I was like, what is happening? Because I remember the three weeks I spent there, I would even leave my room, I would come to the reception, all of us, we do our uh, open heaven there, you know. And no, nobody complained because all the rooms we are all on, their televisions, we are like seraphic uh, TV, you know. I think something went wrong this time around. And then somebody said, somebody came to knock on her door asking for, I've been coming here and then this is the first time of hearing 
somebody complaining that somebody came and knocked on her door. I'm not disputing that. But I don't think any other person has ever complained that. We have wonderful team workers there. At that center. From the reception, as a matter of fact, from the gates, they start welcoming you, whether they have seen you before or not. Oh, sister, you're welcome, sister. I'm so happy to see that. They were really praying for that. And then from the reception, oh, sister, you're welcome, you're welcome. The, somebody's ready to take your stuff to the rooms and all that. You know, and they open your doors and they are cleaning. By nine o'clock, they are coming to knock on your door. Uh, do you need somebody to clean your room? You say, no, I'm, I'm good. Okay, take out the trash. They are so, so receptive. I, I admit that. Yes, I give them, I take off my car for them, for that reason. And then another thing, Daddy, you are wonderful. God bless you. The hotel you're talking about was built over six months just to accommodate foreigners. People coming from, they, Daddy knows, he has traveled. We enjoy air condition month. They, that place was built under six months. And then the restaurant is a small place. The problem he has is land. There is no space. And that's why he's planning to move this to it, where we'll have enough space, you know, to build. You know? There's no space. He just built that small, that small restaurant was built. You, know, you can see how small it is. He just to make us see a place where we can eat, you know, because there's no other, you know, stuff around here. Daddy, God bless you for that. I will know I personally complained this morning because I don't go outside to eat. In America, I don't eat out. I cook to four. So I complained to them this morning. I said, somebody needs to improve. I, I, so, as a matter of fact, I called the lady who cooks. I said, you made this. We need an improvement. You need to go back to Catholic school to get it. People who are coming here from outside. I, I, don't, I don't hide my feelings, you know. But the thing is this. When we move, he will have enough space to build restaurants and employ more people and more hands. And doctors will come and will have different dishes, you know. That is the problem. So let us manage with them now. Let us accommodate them. Let us accommodate them. Uh, they, are, they, are, they are doing great. And Daddy, America will say, if shall come to you. What do you like most about Zion? Daddy. Like prophecy, you. prophecy with instant solution. And daddy, you have changed the world. As a matter of fact, let me tell you, daddy, let me be honest. We all, even the ladies here, you know, that was, that's... <laughs> daddy, you preach, that something you point every time you're preaching that affects almost 95% of ladies, you know. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, you know? <laughs> life. We never knew where it was seen, you know, that you have come to make us realize that we did all those that may God forgive us and have no support. Amen. That you have changed the world. And the boys now all over the whole world are counting on you. Thank you for the preaching. It's, it's changing. It's changing world, you know. So please let us be here with him until we move over there. Like the last sister said, we're going to the doctors we have in Nigeria, all those doctors, they are going to come back when he built the hospitals, restaurants, caterers abroad will come back. All of us will come back. Daddy, I will be the one to come back too. And you too. I will come to you to pay your ticket to America. You want to pay my flight to America? First class. Huh? No, 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 no. He mentioned somebody. Why didn't you say the one you can do? Somebody said he will pay. You ask him how many things are you going to pay? I'm imagining how America will be when I will come there.
The anointing will come down. Yes. Healing will take place. Yes. All those words of God you are hearing on television, hear it like that. Amen. God bless all of you. Amen. In any way anybody might have done anything wrong to all of you, we apologize. Amen. We're going to restart the jobs. Are you hearing me? You people are wonderful. I do pray for all of you. I'm happy that my teaching. No power. Please charge. Hello, Batu. I'm happy that my teaching is affecting life positively. Even though sometimes it can be provocative. Right? It can be provocative because. No power. Please charge. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The word of God is. No power. Please charge. <laughs> So God bless all of you. Amen. Let's tomorrow we'll start seeing one time. Let's know how many people we can be able to see tomorrow. Okay, yes, and from next week, we are going to put so many things you yes. said in the past. They will call the hotel. Will, let me talk to them. I've never had a meeting with them for the first time. Only time I go there just to prep for the table. We want this to be in order. We want to we want God to be proud of us. I'm not working for God for anything. The only thing that motivates me is just to please God. Tell me the truth. Huh. I've seen it all. During my birthday, somebody brought 500 million dollars from me. No power. Please charge. What do you hate? What do you hate? What do you hate? Somebody brought 500 million naira yes. on my birthday. 300 grand, some 300 thousand dollars. If you check it at the rate, that is about 500 million. But I say no. There is nothing that moves me. I only want to please God. Because the person that brought it is somebody I cannot accept money from. Hmm. So, I just want to be honest. To serve God honestly. To tell the world the truth. Yes, yes. Anybody that encounter me, I want the person to go with the truth. Yes. Because I don't need anything from you. All the men of God, some of them put prizes before you can see them. If I put such prize, I will make the money more because everybody wants to see me now. Yes. Even if I put two, two million naira to see me, yes. you know how much I'm making every day? Yes. They will still come or they will be begging. Yeah. <laughs> but something will go against the anointing. Any authentic man of God that charge money, the anointing will be tampered. Yes. They said the person is doing magic. It's only man of God. some people that do magic that can say, give me money, or you go, the man of God will tell you, bring 50 bags of cement. 50 bags of price. No, you don't tell, determine to people what they will do before you attend to them. This has, most of you don't know the attack I have faced by preaching, bringing the gospel back the way it's supposed to be. So many men of God today are against me. Why do you say this? Why do you say that? If you go to my message, you will see threats from so many men of God and women of God. Most of you don't know what we are passing through by bringing the message wrong. So, we give God the glory. Amen. When I was small, I always see a lot of crowd. I used to say that time I see the crowd that my eyes cannot see the end. And this is just the beginning. The Holy Ghost. <laughs> And the Lord God, who has called me, will you give me the grace to end up where? Yes. You know, so many men of God started, but they didn't end up where. Yes. Yes. And we must be careful not to be carried away. One of the things that, three things that destroy men of God, money, money, woman, yes. 
If, if you can be able to avoid woman. And you know, women follow men of God so much. Yes. yes. Yeah, you know, men of God, uh, so many of them have anointing. Uh, women, anointing is attractive. Yes, sir. Song of Sun Shaka Romans 3, because of the fragrance of aroma, no woman will stay without loving you. So you will see women ro rushing to men of God, liking men of They don't know what they are. They are being attracted by the grace and anointing. Solomon, they were coming to him because of the anointing. Awakening for 1,000 of them. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, men of God will avoid the sex. When a man of God is having sex, especially when he's not his wife, the grace will be reducing, and that is the problem of so many today. And you see, most of them, most of those men of God, they will come out, instead of them to admit that something is already happening to their grace. They will be fighting. Hey, he's seeing vision. He's seeing no he's in magic. Then they pop with no matter America. One thing is woman. Secondly, is money. Money is so attractive that if you are not guided, you marry this thing. We have never charged before from this onset to today. Yes. We have never for one day converted Bazaar Zion. For one day, we have never heard anybody hold stage. This is the word you must bring. Do you know that most of the time we do have free years when the program is almost ending? Yes. yes. Have you noticed it? Yes. yes. Sometimes you forget. Not, not only yesterday. Sometimes I even forget. You forgot how free you have. Please, that will remind me that I'm not the most free now. I believe that this is the institution of God. Yes. So because it's the institution of God, what? And we are trying to work for him genuinely. He will raise giants that will be having this to change. Amen. I don't need to tell you, uh, touch my shoe, two million. I don't need to tell you, take my hanky. This, this is the cap of the man of God, 20 million. No. It doesn't make sense to people like me. To someone like me. With the influence I have in the world today, all those things can be giving me a billion every month, every month, one billion. Mm -hmm. If I fix my concession, five million to see me express, two million go slow. And uh, diamond. Don't mention anybody's name. Some of them, you even pay money to the PA. The PA will confirm and tell you, see, before they don't give you daddy or mom. All those things got me retarded. But we never lack. Anytime we want to do something, you will see that all night. That is what makes me to know that if you are serving God genuinely, He will be the one that makes the provision. Yes. 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 Do you know this time we want to buy land? That time we want to buy land. Somebody. I'm not, somebody from Mogia sent 1.5 billion to buy land. He said that day we can use this money whenever you want to pay. pay. And I called him that we have not buy the land, we are serving problem. The money is still out of account. Woo! One of them remember. He was he was here for a long time when he was sick. He, he spent like four months or five months down here. They have already poisoned him to die. They use all the whole demons, some deity, strike him, he was dying. They went to different hospital nowhere. They brought him here. I told him that I will play football with you. And you will not die. And then we follow him up. He didn't want a multi billionaire, but if you see him, you will know. Very humble. We pray for me. I told him if he dies, you know that God is not coming. Anointing is more than charm. So we follow him up. And today is far 100% better. I'm even the 
the name of take your money until we are ready to the money is still there. So for you to see that when you want to serve God genuinely, he raised men that will do his work. Yes. Yes. Well, every time you are disturbing people, so see, uh, you must bring 10 bags of rice, 16 bags of meat. You are doing a different thing. The grace that will make people to follow you will begin to depart gently. Yes. So that is it. So when the man of God avoids sex, money, and pride, proud, the person will go far. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to say, well, yeah, because look at the way you are so simple. Hey. Oh, Chuku, anytime you realize that the work is not done by you, it's done by you. Why are you proud of what you, what you know that you're not going to read? Right. So God bless all of you. Amen. Yes. Yes. We will do everything possible to make sure we get everything right. Yes. If you watch the problem we have here, Canvasium, you Zion, overgrown. Our plan, oh, our imagination. Yeah. Our, so we are running to opportunity the growth of them. We are running to miss them. And that has been the problem. Yes. And I'm why you need to go for coffee. And that's the way you do. Sorry, you are. This I'm going to say has nothing to do with daddy. It's just for us. Daddy, you need a private jet. to Zion branch. Uh, no, I'm talking about your son. I see mom and dad. Okay, you've heard. And it's not a thing that somebody will tell you. You watch it to the end. Thank you for watching the video to the end because it's for your own good and my own good. Now, it's not just going to be what you hear. What do you think? Let's hear from you. You are highly needed. We need to hear from you. 
now what is your own idea because every of your idea people are watching it people are reading it and they can pass it who knows who's who is going to listen who's going to read it it can easily be passed to evangelist and as well the management team the people that are involved i'm so happy that they are going to get this set up of international affairs that will be relating with people coming from abroad yes this is a good one uh, uh, how many of you are in support with what they have said or what some of them are saying and how many of you as well have your own idea bring it up because this is one of the challenges we've been going through especially online trying to pass out a message to the general public to make it easy for everybody <laughs> so now there's an easy pass which means if you're coming from abroad one of all these ideas that was shared by everybody on the comment section and as well the one you saw in the pictures will be taken into consideration now who knows your own might be the best i'm so happy that all this whole you know drama thing and at least my own idea i'm going to drop it before i go off anytime evangelist chukwe bukanos you'll be said see me before you go at least that international affair the person that's going to be in charge of the international um whole thing should be able to have a card should be able to have an, an iv do you understand that iv will be listed in numbers so anybody said see me before you go is very easy the person comes out and give the person a tag you wait so whenever you're going to the office you know that yes this person is called so if evangelist ebuko obi could not see you that day that tag will still be with you to signify that okay maybe you have been rescheduled for another day so you go with that tag or you bring the tag they will give you a a, a card or another signature or whatever so when you come that day no need of stress so you have your number of seeing him this thing is for my own idea now when it comes to the people that stay in nigeria somebody as well we also stand for them so when brother said see me at least every admin for me should have a representative in nigeria especially in your state my own idea so whenever anybody is coming from your state and brother said see me and it's coming from your own country that's your representative will just take that card where are you from i'm from the u.s okay good take where are you from i'm from asia where in the asia okay good for me and where are you from i, I based in lagos i based in abuja take you know lagos don't have um like what we have now everything they have a group there you're seeing it so that you join the mothers the fathers the youth but think we all of them they have different groups there a representative that is my own idea okay so guys you've watched you've seen for yourself so it's not what i just said you you, you watched it if you love this video help me to share to others let others see subscribe to the channel follow it is free and i'll be very grateful to see you subscribe on my channel thank you very much for watching my name remain Hallelujah. more updates to come in any news oh alone